It was a hot summer day and two brothers had finished all their chores on the farm. Their parents were in town in the pickup and the boys decided to cool off with a swim in the stock pond on the back 40 acres of the farm. Their father had always told them not to swim there, to walk a mile down to the creek instead, but it was cooler and the water wasn't dark. Don't ever swim in that pond on the back 40, their dad would say. Go on down to the creek where the water's clear. But the boys were tired and didn't feel like walking that far. The pickup was in town and the tractor was low on gas. They decided to walk the short distance to the pond. Their dad would never know. The sun was burning down and the water at the edge of the pond was warm. But the western side of the pond, which had an earthen dam, was shaded by both the dam and a tree. The muddy brown water was cool enough there. The older boy got out of his sweaty overalls quicker and dove into the murky water while the younger boy was still taking his shoes off. The older boy came up in the shady part of the pond and shook his head and laughed. And then he dove back down under the water with his feet kicking above the surface, the pond before sinking into the solid brown water. Just as the younger boy was walking into the warm mud at the edge of the pond, getting ready to dive in and cool off, his older brother came out of the water right in the center of the pond. The older boy shot up out of the dark water past his waist. Sinking back into the water, he began to shout, Go back! Don't come in! Go get Dad! The younger brother had stood staring at the older boy as he sank back under the brown surface. Don't come in, screamed the older kid. Go back, go get dad. And his head disappeared under the water. The youngster ran as fast as his bare feet could carry him along the dirt road to the barn. The pickup was just pulling into the yard. The boys raced up to his father and told him what had happened. Oh my God, he said. Come on. The younger brother, out of breath, had run hard to keep up with his father. The man ran into the barn and grabbed a grubbing hoe then tore on down the dirt road back to the back 40. The man began to dig away at the earthen dam that formed the hillside pond, tearing the dirt up, his digging hoe at the lowest point in the dam. The older brother was nowhere in sight. First, dirty water trickled out of the trench the man was digging. Then it began to pour and cut its way through the weakened dam, rushing in snaky brown waves past the furiously working man. Gradually, the flat, silt floor of the pond became visible. There lay the older boy, his body wet and swollen. At first the boy looked like he was starting to move in the now shallow water. Then the younger brother saw what it was, crawling across the body of his brother, a gray water moccasin, the poisonous cottonmouth snake. Then another, then another. By the time all the water had drained from the pond, the body of the older boy was covered by hundreds of gray snakes, twisting and rolling, the yellow and gray spots on their underbellies flashing in the hot sun.